Hello and greetings to all. Welcome back to video four on our video series of how to use Redmine Project Manager. On our previous video, I showed how you use Tracker, which is the equivalent to um, basically a task to do. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go ahead and open our Opera. Now, obviously, you can use any browser you want. I just chose to use Opera on this this section. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And here we go. Okay, so we're logged in. And you, we, we can see that by here on the upper right, you'll notice that now my name logged in as and then my name. So uh, now what we're going to do is actually create uh, enumerations. And enumerations is here on the left. Uh, you can just click on it. And we're going to go towards the bottom. Under activity track keeping, what we're going to do is delete these two that we have already. So we're going to delete this just by selecting delete and press OK. And then go back to the bottom, delete and press OK. And then we're going to go back down to the bottom. Now we're, I'm going to go ahead and click on new value. When I click on new value, the first thing I'm going to do is enter uh, where the technicians are going to be able to uh, enter time or, um, or even managers. So one of the first things that I do here is I type, I set it up as service TNM. This is like a, oops, this is actually just like a quick um, a section where the technicians can actually just jump jump in there, put a time and they're done. Because um, obviously efficiency is one of the key names to this. So service warranty. Because at the end of the day, all you have to do is just uh, be able to keep track of time and how the project is really going. And the last value that I'm going to enter is actually going to be install. And this can just, you could uh, add more to it later or whatever, but at least for this discussion, this is more than enough. Okay, once that's done, we're going to go back uh, to the top to administration. Okay, so now we're ready to create our, our projects. So we're going to go ahead and click on project, excuse me, projects. And right here, you can click on new project. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create, um, we're going to create the, the first customer. So a project in the service world to Redmine, it basically boils down to um, a project. And underneath there, I create the levels. So the first thing I'm going to call this customer one. Customer one. Okay. So you'll notice here on the, the identifier, I keep it as what it was, customer one. And now here, th this piece right here, where if you want to make it public, public will allow any anybody that's not logged in to be able to see these projects. So you want to make this, if it's going to be just used for uh, project management as a private company, I would definitely suggest to uncheck public. And go ahead and put a check on inherit members. And I'll show you where you do that next. Now, on this, on this particular customers, you would actually type in at the bottom. You could now see the trackers where they come in. So that's why we did the trackers first. So now here on this particular customer, he's going to have all these features that the, the technicians are going to have access to. Um, so once that piece is done, we're going to go ahead and click on create. Okay, now you see it's all green. So now what we're going to do is go under, you're going to be on the tab of settings and you're going to go under members. So there's no members, which means there's no users there yet. You can click on new member. And now you're going to type in, you, you select who has access to this particular uh, customer who can view it well 
the service admin can view it. The admin can view it. Uh, myself, service tech one is service tech. Uh, excuse me, service tech one, service tech two. And now the role that I normally set up is just manager and just click on add. So now this is actually set up and we're actually successful. If I go under projects now, you'll notice that now I have a star. And it has a star because uh, I'm a member of this particular customer. And for this series, we are going to be a member of all the customers because you could actually on the fly start tweaking it as you need. So we're going to create a full uh, service customer. So the next thing I'm going to do is return to under administration, return to projects. So once we're in projects, you're going to go ahead and select new project. So this particular project we're going to call it this one um, service and under identifier I'm actually going to select customer one so I, I select under identifier so I, I won't get it mixed up I create this uh, to be the customer or whatever the name of the customer that I selected so let's let's say that it's uh, the customer name is Joe Johnson, whatever, or Johnson Supply. You would actually type in here Johnson Supply, but we're gonna, we're we're going to continue to what it was, which is going to be customer one dash service. Again, it's gonna, not going to be public, and he is going to be a sub project of customer one. And I am going to inherit the members. Click on create and continue. So now th that piece is done. Now we need to create one for um, installation. So I'm going to create this project to be. So installation. And then at the very beginning of the identifier here. I'm going to go ahead and create, I mean at the beginning I'm going to set this up as customer one dash installation. And as we get deeper into this, you're, you're going to notice why I do this. Um, now he's going to be, this installation is going to be of the sub menu of customer. So customer one is going to be the parent um, page. And we're going to create and continue. The next thing I'm going to do is create a, f a project or a folder. Create, think of it as folders. It's going to be TNM. So when this this is going to be a service call for time and material. So again, here at, uh, under identifier, it's going to be under service. Excuse me. It's going to be under customer customer one dash service dash t dash m so that way I, I identify the customer name then oh I misspelled it sir service okay so service dash t and m t and dash m is also not going to be public now that the, the, the sub project is actually going to be service. So that way under service I'm going to have this TNM folder. And I'm going to inherit the members, create and continue. The last one I'm going to set it up is warranty. I mean it happens. So in the service world there is definitely a warranty period. Um, so again under identifier it's going to be customer name. So customer one dash service dash warranty so that way you could see it out of all of them they are all different it's not going to be public and it's going to be under service and I'm going to I am going to inherit 
the members and I'm going to create so just a recap if I was to go under projects now you'll notice that if I drill down I have customer so it would be the name of the customer under that I have installation under that I have service and within service I have TNM and warranty so I think for right now this is where we're gonna leave off um, on the next video we'll start drilling deeper into this um, and then we'll after a while we're gonna get this everything full-blown and thanks for watching uh, I'll see you on the next video